All right, we are live on Range Radio. It's a very exciting Eastern Conference matchup between the All Caps and the KG Ballers. KG Ballers in red, All Caps on blue. Both teams are in. I'll let them know the stream's live so they can get going. All right, currently flying solo tonight. Might get a co-commentator later. We'll see, but for now... I'll just uh, do some of the talking. I just woke up from a long fucking nap. I went probably like three hours ago, just randomly decided to take a nap. And you ever have those weird dreams that you get like in a midday nap where just bizarre dreams that you would never have at night, but you're still sort of a little bit conscious during the day. So some of them you can kind of control and some of them are just really bizarre. That's kind of where I'm at right now. I really need a beer, but the beer I was going to drink is uh it's called very mad cow it's put out by revolution here in chicago and the reason it's called very mad cow is it's a bourbon barrel aged version of their mad cow which is a milk stout um i opened it yesterday and took a little sip of it and it was disgusting it was absolutely undrinkable i wound up drain pouring the whole 22 ounce beer which i pretty much never do all right looks like both teams are almost ready to go so, moral to my story is, I'm not sure I have anything cold right now I can drink. But we'll see. Maybe in between halves, I'll just run to the fridge. I might have one more back, Backwoods Bastard, and I might have one more Breakfast Out. All right, we'll switch over to our in-game view. <clears throat> All right, our first game today is on Boombox. Both teams are trying to get spawns for mid, but um, as it is a rolling bomb, pretty reasonable chance we'll see this defuse no matter who gets it. A juke Three, juice on red two, side, another one, rolling bomb one. on blue side, so no tag crews. Might not be a lot of fireworks this first minute. And I'm high does get it, but it does get defused, so Helen Keller also gets defused, so other than the lone juke juice that Stalin has, no, no uh, power-up impact from this first minute. All right, 30 seconds in. Again, not a lot of excitement. No pop action, really. So Helen Keller... Almost gets past. Bowtie had a nice block against Neb, but just not quite enough to allow uh, to allow an escape from base. So Rush is going to try to do the same against uh, the newly acquired Koala and Yusarian, and uh, Koala able to get that return. Blue base locked down once again. Both teams getting ready to position themselves for pop. The all caps able to grab the blue base pop, which is a rolling bomb. Tag Pro for Russia, so there is a Tag Pro lead here, but Koala is able to get behind Russia and get the return. Russia's going to see what he can do with this Tag Pro, but given the uh, lack of an offensive partner, and that Tag Pro is now out. So, so Russia able to get past Yusarian and Koala, and should have a pretty clear pathway back to base here if they can get a return on Helen Keller. But now Russia has uh, another two to beat, so... Doesn't seem like it's really going to be able to pan out here without some laps, some major laps from Russia. Helen Keller just buying some time in his own base, but trying to evade the tag from three. Stalin eventually does get the tag, but Bowtie has the re-grab and is rewarded with a tag pro. Chooses to wait on this before going flag pro. May not see I'm high. Oh, and I'm high was able to get the tag pro by sneaking in under bow tie. So Stalin currently flag pro for his team. Russia finally getting back on regrab. It was a very brief return for cap window there for Stalin. Almost turned into a cap. He was only about a tile away from the flag tile at the time. 
Flag Carrier's Kiss, so we do have a reset momentarily. Russia out ahead of two. Stalin going to maybe try a boost block here against Helen Keller, but just uses that to get ahead and try to get a re-grab. Yeah! And Stalin grabs 1v1 against Koala, gets returned. Currently a 1-0 lead for the KG Ballers against the All Caps. Just under 7 minutes left to go in the first half on Boombox. Another round of pups spawning. I'm high there right on time to get a Juke Juice. Another team able to get off a good grab here. Possibly, uh, looked like this was going to be a handoff, but no, Bowtie's uh, going to try to get out in this situation. Looks like Stalin almost gets out, but Yusarian takes the right angle to take Stalin back to his home. And we have another reset. Just over six minutes left to go in the first half. Both teams might already be thinking about making sure they're well positioned for this next round of pops. We have not seen a lot of tag pros, so maybe this will be the, the round where we see a lot of tag pros. We have four balls fighting mid, and ultimately it becomes a rolling bomb, which gets immediately defused. Stalin able to grab a tag pro in uh, the enemy base, and Neb able to grab Juke Juice in his own base. So power-up battle clearly won by KG Ballers that round. Stalin waiting for Nebuchadnezzar before any grab is attempted. So looks like Neb... Probably going to be able to get out ahead of Qual and Yasarian on his own here, so Stalin's just going to stay back on re-grab as his tag pros out anyway. Could be an opportunity here, but good offensive D by the all-caps prevents anything from happening. A couple of quick flaccids, though, so this one could be the opportunity that they've been looking for. Oh, Russia not able to block Koala, so Koala's able to get in, in the way there and prevent an escape from base. Another round of pups spawning fairly soon. Stalin already in place mid. Rush awarded with another tag pro in the all caps base. Bowtie gets a nice rolling re, so he's probably okay with Helen just leaving them away and dying, which is what he does. So Bowtie able to get out, uh, still intact with his rolling bomb for at least another 10 seconds or so. Gets defused and now has to try to figure out how to get around I'm high. Nice juke. Stalin, meanwhile, getting returned in uh, his own base. Definitely don't don't expect to see any, any high-scoring matches on Boombox today, given this is a map that everybody's played quite a bit, and I think we'll see the flag in, in base quite a bit on this map. So Nab able to get around uh, three enemy balls, but Yusarian ultimately tracks him down. Yusarian takes the right angle there to block Stalin, so we do have a reset here. 2v2 situation. Um, high takes the right angle to be able to get that return. Good offensive D there for KG Ballers, who maintain a 1-0 lead. Stalin able to grab a tag pro mid. So meanwhile, Helen Keller able to walk this one in. Uh, Koala had some nice blocks allow the equalizer, so 1-1 one, one game now. Classic situation where one team is focused on pops, the other team just capitalizes. They have a mismatch and they're able to get a cap as a result. So Neb going to try to block Helen Keller here. I'm high, able to take the gate boost and come right in. Good play by the KG Ballers taking advantage of sort of a resulting mismatch from the last cap. In a way, it was sort of almost a counter cap. So Rush is going to try to get past Yusarian here, and Yusarian and Helen Keller both go for that gate button. Meanwhile, Koala playing a little bit of uh, anti, but now opting to join the chase. Stalin now has a free grab. And the blocks are in place for Rush to be able to walk it in. I'm high with some nice blocks on Helen Keller to prevent the offensive D from succeeding there. Now uh, a little bit of a regrab train here for the KG Ballers as they take a... 3-1 to one lead with two and a half minutes left in the first half. And the return comes just in time for Stalin. There's great timing there by the KG Ballers. Looks like uh, the all caps are starting to get a little bit desperate with the grabs here. And the blocks are in place for yet another cap here for Russia and the KG Ballers. Who now have a 5-1 to one lead. Things really turn there very quickly.
both flags back in base. Last two minutes of this half, we'll see if all caps are able to do anything to stop the bleeding. Home of Keller Flaccids, and now Bowtie uh, solo in red base. I'm going to try the old boost grab trick, but I'm high looks well positioned to stop that. And then Helen Keller pushes I'm high out of the way, but two quick Flaccids, and it uh, doesn't look like KG Ballers are trying to grab here. They're just focusing on Pop Stall and able to get a tag pro mid. I'm high looks well positioned for uh, his base pop whenever it chooses to materialize, and Stalin with a nice uh, tag pro lead here for Russia uh, gets separated, but we'll be able to get back in, out in front momentarily. Not sure how long that tag pro is going to last, but probably long enough. Oh, no, not long enough to get a cap there. It looked like it might have been, but he needed about one more second on it. Neb able to get a tag pro in his base, so Yossarian uh, was out ahead of four, but Stalin momentarily got in front. Yossarian able to get a nice cap there, near the lead of three. So I'm high, wisely patient there. Doesn't try to get through the gate. And if they can get this return, this looks like another situation where if they can just get the blocks in place, uh, the blocks just didn't materialize quickly quickly enough for I'm high to be able to walk that one in. Then Helen Keller got there and wasn't blocked. So I think they had an opportunity there to cap. Oh, Yosarian almost got through gate there. That would have been amazing. Bowtie able to split Nebuchadnezzar and Stalin. And uh, just has to get past time high, but now Neb in front, and Bowtie gets returned. So a little bit of a momentum swing the other way for the all-caps here. With 12 seconds left in the half, they're Yossarian able to grab a tag pro. They're just going to see if they can do anything here. But currently no re-grab. Rush actually Three, had a return for cap two, there if uh, he had gone for it, but opts not to. So at the end of the first half, a 5-2 to two lead for the KG Ballers over the all-caps. Very impressive display. Uh, I'm high leading the pack with 14 returns and one cap, and Russia with three caps to round out his side's great performance in the first half. Good work, gentlemen. Okay, teams have switched sides. See what each team is uh, telling their, their folks to do, either the same or differently in this next half. See if we see any strategic changes or any lineup changes. So far, it doesn't look like there have been any lineup changes. It's the same four on each side, so we'll see whether or not either side chooses to make subs. Perhaps all caps might choose to change things up. KG Ballers are sticking with their starting four, and they're launching. So no lineup changes in the second half of this game. Currently a 5-2 to two lead, three-cap lead for the KG Ballers. We are now on blue, and the all caps are on red. Looks like we got kicked back to group there, so... We'll try to join this one more time. Nope. I think we're all going back to group. Discussion of a possible bot, given that we all got kicked back to group. Everyone's trying to figure out who uh, who's botting, but of course, probably no one. Some debate as to whether or not Nitro is a mod, or whether Nitro is a DOM. All right, looks like they'll be launching again. Once again, a 5-2 to two lead currently for the KG Ballers, who are on blue. All caps are on red. Hopefully we're able to get in group cleanly this time. All right.
three, two, one. So KG Ballers start off here with the Tag Pro. Some excessive uh, macros in chat for the KG Ballers. We'll see if that's uh, helpful or harmful for their team. I'm able to grab, get behind that that Tag Pro lead that Stalin provides. So with the Juke Juice and a Tag Pro here, things look bright here for the KG Ballers. Uh, Helen takes a nice boost, very nice boost to get around the Tag Pro lead and get a return there. Very slick. Stalin uh, being patient here with his grab, waiting until Koala passes him before grabbing. Russia able to partially block out Helen Keller, but mainly he's just going to be able to get a re-grab here. See if he can get around too. So he shouldn't have any trouble getting around Helen here, given that he has a lot of space to work with. But now he's going to be able to take that gate to get himself into base. Oh, and the return just didn't materialize in time. The timing wasn't quite there, but he is still there with the flag. And... Koala is able to get a return. But just one of those situations where you trust your team to get a return, and, you know, everyone does their best. Sometimes they're able to get it, but that time uh, the flag carrier for the all caps was able to stay alive just long enough. We see a little bit of a showdown on the left side of the map as Helen Keller and uh, Stalin were duking it out, but Russia holds that gate and allows Stalin to get out of base. So Neb trying to figure out what he's going to do here. Russia trying to provide blocks and holds gate and winds up gating two team members or two uh, members of the opposing team in the process. So very successful button there. No regrab in place for the all caps yet, but looks like they're going to get there. Good patience for the bow tie there, choosing to uh, stay in base until the cavalry arrived. And bow tie with a brief return for cap, but he gets returned by Russia. The offensive D in place in red base, but Helen Keller should be able to go uh, rolling bomb up here, and he does. So he's going to be able to come in and have an opportunity if he can avoid blowing anybody into the flag, and he does. Good use of rolling bomb there for Helen Keller, who narrows the uh, deficit to two caps, currently 5-3 to three in favor of KG Ballers. Yossarian with another rolling bomb, he's going to be able to get around Stalin and uh, be able to get another quick cap here for the all caps, who have narrowed the lead down to one. Currently five to four. So Bowtie's gonna see if he can make a three for three here. Both flags back in base. Seems to be a rare occurrence this half. We've had uh, a lot of situations where at least one flag has been out, not a lot of resets. Everyone gearing up for power-up battles. Currently 2v1 mid in favor of the all-caps, but uh, KG Ballers, Russia actually winds up getting that pop. And uh, he's going to re-up that Juke Juice, but gets gated by Yossarian in the process. So it looks like three Juke Juices. Could that be right? No tag pros once again. Russia with the Juke Juice able to take the right angle to get out in front. And looks like he uh, thought about grabbing there, but Koala is well positioned there to prevent an easy grab. So Bowtie able to sneak past time high, but decides to go one, and Russia had that button. Both flags back in base. Six minutes left to go in the game. Currently a one cap lead for the KG Ballers, five to four. Bowtie with a little bit of taunting of I'm high. Uh, sneaking around in the three tile wide space there. So Bowtie again able to get around I'm high. I'm sure this is just adding fuel to the fire. Oh, Bowtie might have had an opportunity there. Wasn't 100% sure if gate was clear, so winds up uh, heading towards the corner and gets returned quickly. <laughs> Tag Pro sitting in blue base, but I'm high is uh, trying to walk in here and cap, so Russia able to go get that, and I'm high avoids the kiss. Good decision making there. Russia using the Tag Pro to clear out base should they get this return on Bowtie at any point. 
Uh, Helen Keller is going to spoil all that, though, so looks like I'm High will finally have to dance around and do something. He's got to avoid three three balls now, and it doesn't look likely. Koala zooming in and getting that tag. Rolling bomb mid, picked up by Russia for the KG Ballers. He's going to go take that on re-grab while Neb joins the chase. Neb able to grab a tag pro. So both teams being very patient here, making sure to get pups. Neb and Bowtie able to track, or gets Bowtie gets tracked down by Neb and I'm high. And Helen Keller able to grab a rolling bomb, so this could be an opportunity. Helen's probably just going to start heading back to uh, the red side of the map here. Still nothing even close to a return on Russia. And the return might be coming, might be coming. Not coming, Russia's going to be able to... Oh, wow. That's painful. Russia gaining this area. So both sides just opting for very conservative play. Neither side's flag carrier really, uh, really, really yielding a lot here. But we do get a couple of returns. I'm high providing a tag pro escort for Stalin. So they are really going all out here, hoping to get this return. But Stalin with an opportunity here to cap. Koala just doing an absolutely great job of evading I'm high in Russia, but no longer. I'm high in Russia, able to block the last all cap Yasarian, and Stalin's able to tap to uh, score that cap to raise the lead back to two for the KG Ballers. Currently six to four aggregate, with three minutes left to go. So Russia with another tag pro, gonna try to get Stalin out of base, but Russia's tag pro uh, goes out a little bit too soon and. Stalin getting returned. We do have a reset once again. Another round of puffs beginning to spawn. Stalin grabbing Juke Juice mid and going straight to the red base waiting for another pup. And re-ups his Juke Juice. Koala taking advantage of the refresh strats but having to wait 10 seconds as a result so Stalin's going to be able to get out in the meantime while she responds. Just two minutes left to go. Currently a two cap lead for the KG Ballers. Bowtie just uh, playing it very patient here. Trying to stay alive, but Stalin ultimately getting that return. I'm high playing good contain. Yusarian missing the snipe, but uh, Helen Keller able to make up for it. So an opportunity here for the all caps. Looks like they might have the blocks in play. Oh, Koala hesitating, thinking about going back for that rolling bomb, but the blocks are not quite there this time. Now there's three blue balls in base, so somebody might want to think about getting that tag pro. I think Koala's just going to go ahead and do it. She does, knowing that uh, pretty unlikely she's going to be able to cap in this situation. But nonetheless, there was an opportunity there. Last second, she actually almost uh, made a flag pro cap. One minute left to go. Two cap lead for the KG Ballers in blue. Currently six to four aggregate. This could be an opportunity for the all caps. Helen Keller able to boost out ahead. They've just got one one man to block. And Stalin would not be blocked. Gets her on your and able to get the return. But bow tie out ahead of two. I'm high coming in with the tag pro, so able to get out in front. That might have been the last really good opportunity for the all caps to score with 30 seconds left to go. KG Ballers now have a tag pro lead, which expires, but Rush is able to get past midfield, and I'm high able to get that re-grab, so... Russia still alive. Oh, wow, that would have been amazing if Russia had been able to cap there. But Russia is still alive, just playing keep away with 10 seconds left to go. And he's just going to avoid the tag. Able to dance around Helen Keller and 
Looks like that's going to be the end of the game. So final score of this game, 6-4. to four. Yossarian with the key kept flag there, which is worth 10 points, as we all know. But uh, great half from both teams. Uh, really, really well fought by all caps who narrowed that lead to two. But final score is six to four in favor of KG Ballers. Great job. Hopefully get a few more viewers real quick. Very exciting first game. Let's see if anybody's watching this. Ooh, nine viewers. Nice. It's good. It's more than more than four. All right, the map's been changed to star. These teams are clearly about business. You're Syrian running a tight chip here, ready to move on to game two. Stalin and Bowtie engaging in a little bit of uh, friendly banter or something. You're Syrian ready to move this along, saying, are we ready? Looks like this will be a quick stream tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Both teams uh, really keeping things on schedule tonight, other than a little bit of banter. We haven't really had too many problems, no lag outs. Yas just waiting for anybody on the KG Ballers to indicate that they're ready so he can click the button and get the second game going on Star. So very excited to see competitive game on Star, always enjoyable. I think uh, a lot of people out there probably mixed feelings on Star being removed from rotation. I'm I'm happy about it personally. I think that uh, Star was not a great pub map. I think pub players, generally speaking, would just flash it a lot on it. You know, it's certainly not an easy map to get grabs on. Um, it was it was always just whichever team had more flaccids would lose. Um, today, seeing two great majors teams duke it out, hopefully we'll see a little bit more discipline on the grabs. Um, Obviously, we're going to see a lot of spikes since Star is a very spike-heavy map, but both of these teams have talented offenders who should be able to get grabs. So looking forward to a very exciting game on Star. Neb indicating that uh, Russia needs to uh, tend to some personal business before, uh, before we're able to start here just to relieve the tension. The sexual tension, specifically. So whatever I said about these teams uh, eager to move things along quickly uh, does not apply to the KG Ballers. They're not moving things along quickly here. Let's see what's going on in our stream. Hello, audience. All right, almost ready, guys. As soon as these guys finish jerking off and shit-talking. All right, we are live, so switch back to our in-game view. Oh, thanks, D-Star. I appreciate it. Try to zoom this in. Everybody knows there's a spike there, right? You don't need to see it. Three, two, one. 
All right, so KGB is going to start with a tag pro. Helen Keller able to grab a rolling bomb for the all caps. And uh, Russia gets quickly returned. Stalin with his tag pro just trying to figure out what he's going to do with it now. Just to play offensive D, I guess. Bowtie able to get out. But uh, probably going to have to take a lap here. And Stalin's going to go flag pro as his tag pro is now out. So I'll be interested to see to what extent we see uh, a lot of button strats in this map or whether uh, folks generally are just going to avoid going mid. And we're going to see a lot of either clockwise or counterclockwise rotation. Flag carrier is kissing. I'm high able to get a free grab and giving that boost bottom, opting not to use it. Qual with a nice straight on return. I'm high not moving out of the way. So first minute. Not a lot of fireworks yet on this map, just a couple of decent grabs, followed by a lot of chasing. And Yossarian able to uh, time out his transit around bottom at the right time to be able to get the pup, which spawned, which turned out to be a rolling bomb. Um, as it gets defused, the Poost almost kills him, but he's able to navigate that and go through mid-gate. Meanwhile, uh, Stalin just making laps around the map. Follow with a nice return. Neither team getting too aggressive defensively. Everyone's just very carefully containing. God, I forgot how boring Star is. I really don't know what to say. I feel like I'm kind of like in uh, Talladega now. The night's like I don't know what to do with my hands. Like That's how I feel when I watch a game on star mass deaths for the all caps so russia here with a actual oh my god an actual real opportunity to cap and winds up spiking himself that was that was probably going to be a cap for kgb so yasarian able to grab uh, tag pro and provide a tag pro lead bowtie opting to go mid here while yasarian gets buttoned but russia was able to grab that other power up which wound up being a rolling bomb so what could have been a cap turns into nothing, and uh, I'm high able to get a return. So Russia still has a couple more seconds on that RB, but it'll be out before he's able to get back, and it is indeed out. So Yossarian and Russia both going top. I think we might see a kiss here, but no, Russia opting to get around Helen Keller. And, oh, that could have been a cap there. Oh, the timing on that just didn't work. Russia had four beat, but the return just wasn't there, and he didn't know if the return was going to get there or not, so wasn't able to go to his flag tile, and... No cap, but they were pixels away from getting that return in time for him to be able to go straight to the flag tile. So potentially a second cap for, we could, you know, it could easily be 2 nothing right now for uh, KGB, but just a couple of miscues and miscommunications. Russia leaving the RB for Nebuchadnezzar, but Helen Keller gets there anyway. So we do have a 2v2 blocking situation here. We'll see whether no, Rush is able to play some great offensive D and get a return. Bowtie sneaking past Stalin up top. That was a nice juke there by Bowtie. But Stalin able to uh, track Bowtie down and get a return. Helen similarly uh, moving around I'm high, but winds up noob spiking I'm high in the process, so. Bowtie throwing uh, the same words from their, their pregame uh, chat back in his face about just stay, stay in that middle tile, Stalin. Referring to that juke. So Rush is able to misdirect Koala and should be able to get through mid. This could be the first cap of the game. I'm high as a nice block on Bowtie and that'll be a cap for the KG Ballers to take a 1 nothing lead. Uh, Stalin out ahead of 3 and they have a nice block here on Yossarian, so... Quick two caps there for the KG Ballers. And uh, Russia not able to get out of base. Otherwise, it looks like they might have had a third one with that tag pro. So currently a 2 nothing lead for KGB, who uh, truthfully so far has just dominated this match. Um, the score doesn't even really show it. It could be 4 nothing right now. So Russia able to get past Koala here. And looks like they have another situation that could be a cap. That angle. Oh, nice. Russia able to take a... Little bounce off that two tile wall and just sneak the corner of the flag tile. I thought that was going to get thwarted, but 
Another gap here for KGB, so currently a 3-0 lead. Five minutes left to go in the first half. Pup spawning, rolling bomb gets quickly defused on the left. Nebuchadnezzar able to grab a juke juice right, and Rotai uh, doing everything possible to stay alive, but winds up getting tracked down, and Helen Keller looks like is also going to get returned, so we do have a reset here. Looks like uh, we'll see if Bowtie attempts the solo grab, opts not to. Oh, but then decides to grab against four. And the handoff just isn't a handoff in that spot. Russia flaccid quickly. We know we're going to see a lot of that on this map. It's just almost unavoidable. Not a lot of uh, good grabbing opportunities in general. Nice, nice misdirection and a nice block there from Bowtie. Allow Helen Keller to get out, but just doesn't navigate those those corners correctly bottom and winds up getting tracked down. <clears throat> good patience from Bowtie, sitting on that button, getting returned for his team. Does not want to kiss. Russia considers a kiss there, but Bowtie thinks better of it and does kiss. You have an opportunity here. Only one blue ball in the way. It is I'm high with the juke juice and is able to get that return. Currently 3 0 for the KG ballers. Three minutes left to go and half one on star. Wow, and that bomb leads to a massive explosion in red base. Just pretty much everybody dies. It's a bit like a pinball machine there. Just uh, everything flying around and into a spike. Similar now in blue base, the bomb kills everybody on that side. People are thinking about pups in that red base. Yusarian able to sneak away with the tag pro there, and he's going to see if he can possibly help out here. This could be a cap if Qual is able to track down I'm High. Helen Cullen there, but no, Bowtie had to take a lap. Rush is uh, in the way once again. Preventing a cap for the all cap, so Russia is able to get out of base. Uses the bomb to easily get out ahead. Sneaks past Koala. Just going to take a lap here. Bowtie, meanwhile, being very patient, not taking laps. I'm high, was trying to solo contain there until Nebuchadnezzar could get there to help out. And Stalin boosts himself right into that mid game. Flag carries kiss. Nice re-grab chain here for the all caps. Helen Keller now has an opportunity. Probably going to try to go. Oh, might go by bottom again, actually. I'm high winds up over committing top and might be thinking about that pup spawning soon. Bowtie able to grab that rolling bomb. Just sneaks away and gets it from um, I'm high. And spawns in the right spot to be able to use that rolling bomb to clear some space for his teammates. So Bowtie... Uh, very strategically grabbing a rolling bomb and spiking himself so he can respawn in base using that uh, rolling bomb on offense is very impressive. I don't know if that was uh, hashtag planned or just worked out that way. Certainly no way to know where you're going to spawn, but certainly you know that if you uh, spawn back in base with a rolling bomb, it's going to move something around. So, again, no idea if uh, there is any intentionality behind that or if that was just really lucky, but... Very nice use of rolling bomb by Bowtie to create a cap for his squad. Currently a 3-1 to one lead for KG Ballers. Just under one minute left to go in the first half. Bowtie says, I've got your button. And I'm High does get this rolling bomb. The block's... Uh, just weren't real enough. Stalin able to get a return. So we'll see whether or not they can set up blocks with three red, three blue balls in base. It's going to be kind of impossible. Just a few seconds left here. Stalin gets out of base and should have no trouble getting back to his side. But Koala able to push him high off the button and get a return. Nice job from Koala there. Yusarian sneaking past Stalin and Neb and still alive. Three. Two, Yusarian one. will have that kept flag. 
Russia will not. So the cat flag goes to Yasarian in the all caps, but the lead currently 3-1 in favor of KG Ballers after one half on star. So I'm high as peeing. That's the new reason for delay for the KG ballers. There was some discussion before the uh, second game began as to whether or not Russia was fapping. Um, not sure if Russia is still fapping. Probably not. Everyone peeing their pants, apparently. Both teams. Currently a three to one lead for the KG ballers. Not a lot to talk about here in this halftime. We'll just go back to our Twitch chat. Copernicus indicating we need a little more tag pro, I agree. Dance saying we will not see a comeback. I'm not sure. This is this is definitely a map where uh, you don't necessarily see a lot of fireworks usually. Pretty much other than those bombs and, and the power ups, there's really nothing to help you, so I'm not sure we're going to see a comeback here. I think uh, if I had to guess what result we'll see, currently there's a two-cap lead for the KG Ballers. I'd say probably a two-cap victory for KGB. So a little bit more bantering between uh, Bowtie and Stalin regarding uh, jukes and three tile wide spaces. That's been the theme of our match so far. All of that began when uh, Bowtie was able to juke around I'm High in uh, the first game on Boombox in the three tile wide space. And then uh, after some bantering on Star, um, Bowtie able to get around Stalin in a very similar three tile wide space. So Currently, uh, the all caps down in game two and uh, lost game one. So maybe uh, some of the, the banter is just a way of keeping up spirits going into this second half. And a little bit of uh, shit talk about UCLA not deserving that spot and uh, how Temple should have. I'm not really sure I can argue that point. See, I'm, I did go to UCLA, so I was happy to see them get that spot. And I think the argument in favor of it, this is also what the committee member said when they interviewed him on the, the uh, Selection Sunday show, is that UCLA towards the latter half of the season was starting to play a little bit better. And if anybody watched the um, Pac-12 tournament, the semifinals the other day against Arizona, um, Arizona is, you know, obviously one of the top teams in the country. I think they're ranked number five. And UCLA kept it really close with them. It was basically a one-possession game all the way to the end of the game. I think the final score was like 70-64, to 64, but it was, you know, a two-point game until the very end when, you know, obviously UCLA had to start, you know, just fouling and doing whatever they had to do to try to get back in it. But in terms of what you talk about is passing the eye test. I mean, obviously I'm biased. I'm a UCLA fan. I want them to make the tournament. But they went possession for possession with Arizona, which is a top 10 team. So I think they probably passed the eye test. And I think that's, if I had to guess, the biggest reason why UCLA was selected. Now, I don't know a whole lot about Temple, so can't really argue as to whether or not that was fair. But I think uh, when you think about the cut line, there's a lot of teams that – are kind of right on the border, and the bottom line is if you really wanted to make the tournament, I mean, a lot of these teams had opportunities throughout the season and just didn't take advantage. So going into our final half on star, um, KG Ballers are now on red. All caps are on blue. 3-1 Three, Three, to one lead now two, for one. the KG Ballers, who uh, do get a tag pro. Stalin commenting with how gods have been nice to them. That's definitely true. They've uh, started out with a tag pro uh, a lot more often than their counterparts. So quick double flaccid over in uh, red base. Stalin all by his lonesome with this tag pro, trying to figure out 
what he can do with it. He's able to grab and get out ahead of three if he can just hit this boost ride, and if the blocks are real, uh, they're, they're really patient there, and Stalin's able to block that one in. I'm high and Nab just doing a good job getting a block on the last man for the all caps and forcing a flaccid. So Helen Keller now uh, trying to counter cap. Russia getting blocked out of the way. Your Syrian getting just not quite there. Your Syrian put up a nice block there too, but just unfortunately not able to walk that in for the all caps. So currently a four to one lead, three cap lead for the KG ballers. Helen Keller timing out that power up pretty well, winds up getting a tag pro's result. He's going to use that to try to clear out base, but he gets uh, tag pro canceled very quickly. And uh, Rush is able to get out in the meantime. Currently eight and a half minutes left to go. Three cap lead for KG Ballers. Nab with a nice return around the spike there. Stalin forcing a kiss. And uh, I'm high, uh, not able to get out ahead of Yersarian, but then Jukes Yersarian winds up going back the way he originally intended. Koala able to stay alive and get herself out of base. Both flag carriers just taking their time. I'm high again, times out, as Flag Carrier times out that that uh, pop, and it winds up being another tag pro. So there have been three consecutive tag pros for the KG Ballers over on the KG Ballers side of the map on the left. Seven and a half minutes left to go, still a three cap lead for KGB. Stalin asking if uh, the other team's lagging a little bit. Seems he might be experiencing a little bit of lag. No lag on my end. There's a nice steady uh, 32, 35 ping. So, uh, not sure if that was just on his end. Bowtie uh, able to get out of red base once again. Just dancing around very patiently, slaloming through the spikes. I'm high, uh, only being chased by Yossarian, so. And not able to get the pop that spawns on the red side of the map this time. Yossarian winds up getting the juke juice. Just uh, a little bit unlucky for the all caps today. Whenever they're in place to be able to get a pop, it winds up being a juke juice, whereas KG Ballers just keep getting tag pros. Seems like uh, sort of a mismatch there. So Nev might be kissing here, and he does. And Bowtie needs to figure out how to get out of base here. This is going to be a cap. Oh, Bowtie staying alive, just managing to avoid the tag in uh, what what was pretty much a return for cap situation. Bowtie just, just doing a great job of getting out of base there and preventing a cap for the other team. <coughs> Excuse me. Six minutes left. Still a 4-1 to one lead for KGB. Juke Juice is spawning on both sides of the map, going to Helen Keller and Russia respectively. Russia able to grab the edge of that flag tile and get out ahead. Two to beat. The blocks are pretty good there, but uh, Russia has to circle back and Qual comes um, trailing and able to get a nice return there. Over five minutes left to go in the second half. The bomb is doing a lot of a lot of damage. The bomb is certainly in the lead in this game with uh, I don't know probably about 50 tags. And the button just isn't there. Uh, Russia able to fight with your Syrian for that button. Get another return. Bowtie's going to have to retreat here. Let's see what the stats have to say right now. So, not a lot of action here in this one-cap half. So, 
four returns and a cap for Stalin so far. Uh, leading the field defensively would have to be I'm high with nine returns. <clears throat> So Bowtie getting tracked down by I'm High, resetting that red flag. Helen's going to take a nice boost rat straight to the flag and gets a grab, but not able to get out of base. And once again, we have a reset. Four minutes left to go in this, this match on Star. Viserion takes the right angle to stop Stalin from getting around the corner. Another reset. Both teams thinking pups already. And uh, rolling bomb on each side. Both of those getting defused right away. So Both teams uh, doing a great job on pup control, given that there's only two pups. Not a lot to remember. Looks like uh, Bowtie not going to be able to get around mid. Stalin following behind and hitting that button. Bowtie not happy about that. Stalin boosting straight into a spike. Not a good boost path there by Stalin. And looks like Bowtie's able to extinguish the bomb, pushing Neb out of the way, but Neb able to regain his footing and get, get ahead of uh, Flag Carrier. Oh, are the blocks real? Still an opportunity here, but Neb able to track Bowtie down for a nice return. Just seems like the all caps today have not been able to take advantage of situations where uh, you know they have numerical advantage. The offensive D for KG Ballers. So we'll see whether or not this can be an exception. And it is not. Both flat carriers get returned. But Russia able to get it. Looks like Russia was going to be able to get out of base. But Yusarian took the right angle with that juke juice to be able to track him down. And again, we have a reset. Very difficult map to grab on. Russia spawning in the right spot. Two minutes left to go in this match. Currently a 4-1 to one lead for the KG Ballers who are looking for a nice sweep here against the All Caps. And, uh, you know, barring the unlikely, it looks like they're going to get it. Two minutes left. Three cap deficit. Tall order on this map. Rolling Bomb getting quickly diffused on the right. Helen Keller able to grab Juke Juice for the all caps on the left side of the map. And this could be a capping opportunity here, but no, Stalin manages to get away from Yusarian, and Helen Keller uh, manages to find a spike. So, another situation where, you know, it was 3 bead and could have been an opportunity. It just didn't materialize. Yas trying to walk this one back to base, but. Nebuchadnezzar well positioned to get a return. Neb opting the kiss. One last round of pups getting ready to spawn in about 20 seconds, so we'll see if we see anything exciting there as a result, but otherwise this game looks like it's pretty much over. Um, Otai just going right towards the flag tile there, not sure what the thought was, but uh, just pretty much walks straight in. I'm high for the return. So a tag pro, a tag pro now uh, showing up. Nebuchadnezzar just goes uh, full out for that abandons re just to get that tag pro and uh, good decision. The hesitation was not there. Neb now uh, going flag pro, but Koala's in the right spot to get a return on him. And with just under 30 seconds left to go, Nebuchadnezzar kept that tag pro on defense and. Looks like that's probably going to be it. We have about 15 seconds left. Not sure anybody's going to even have time to get a good grab and get back to base at this point. Bowtie sitting on that boost. I think Bowtie's just thinking kept flag at this point. We'll see whether or not Three, that's the case. Two, oh, one. and he gets returned. There's there's uh, no kept flag for him, but looks like Helen Keller might have the kept flag. So great, uh, great effort by Helen Keller there to pull out a kept flag for the all caps. But otherwise, KG Ballers sweep with a 4-1 to one victory on Star. Good job, KGB. So we'll let both of these teams say their GGs, and 
then we'll head down and see whether or not we have any commentary from either captain. See what our stream had to say here. The All Caps were the best team in the league until they lost the MVP. Very interesting. Wow, there's a lot of discussion here of the uh, tournament. We'll have to scroll up here. And I know I had made some comments about UCLA. I'm not sure if there's any more discussion about that. There's no way to justify it, Ranger. Oh, wow. What opportunity did UCLA take advantage of losing every game away? I don't know. I mean, look, every team in the field who was right on that cut line lost a lot of games and missed a lot of opportunities. That's all I'm saying is that Temple, I'm sure, had opportunities to get in, and they didn't. I mean, if you think about what the committee, the committee has to do, yeah, okay, we will do. I'll interview you guys. Um, when you think about what the committee has to do, where – no matter how many teams you have in the tournament, there's always going to have to be a cut line. There's always going to be two or three teams that are debating who really deserves to get in and who doesn't. I'm just saying that, you know, UCLA had some good wins this year. They also had some losses, real bad losses. I understand being, people being upset. I mean, there's a lot of other deserving teams. All right, so we're going to head down to the KG Ballers real quick. Assault, but All right, here on Ranger Radio, uh, jumping in to do a quick interview here. KG Ballers with a nice sweep. Uh, good job today. Nice, solid victories on both maps. Uh, Stalin, thoughts on what you guys did to succeed? Fap your asshole. Fap your asshole. All right, fap your asshole. The advice of the KG Ballers. <laughs> we played Russia. How to win in majors. We pulled, we pulled Russia in because New Truck was uh, partying all week, and he's not here. And he killed the and not, oh my fucking god, Russia's, oh my god. You sound like you're a little hot and bothered there, Stalin. <laughs> oh, it's a uh, good tag pro, just gets me, gets me going like nothing else. All yeah. right, outstanding. So, uh, you know, we saw a lot of great performances on both sides of the ball today. If you had to guess who, you know, who was really the MVP of this match, who would you say? Would you say it's Russia or would you say it's someone else? I mean, in terms of, like, exceeding expectations, it's 100% Russia. It absolutely, like, we've had some struggles on offense, like, the last few weeks, and he yeah, absolutely, yeah. like, came in clutch when we needed it. And, uh, and like, High is always dominant on D. Like, that's why we have him there. He, he shuts it down like nobody else. He's solid. And Neb's... Neb, you played super solid, too. Yeah. I'm just there to get, get high returns. Super good. So you guys, looking ahead to next week, you know, obviously the community map will be coming in. How do you guys feel about thinking with portals? Well, you know, and it's everyone's dream to play Wasatch Pro on thinking with portals, right? Oh, wait, <laughs> shit. Oh, God. Nah, we're, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll yeah, they're garbage. We'll get some practice in. Thinking with portals Wasatch. isn't as complicated of a map as people make it out to be. Wasatch is garbage. You heard it here first. All right. <laughs> Live on Ranger Radio. Wasatch Start is garbage. Wasatch is garbage. Start throwing that trash early. Garbage. I gotta start the trash talk. It's happening. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thanks a lot for the interview. I'm gonna jump up and see if the all caps are in channel. Why is that a dumb question? I don't All know. right, guys, live on Ranger Radio. Wanted to real quickly check in with you. Tough losses today. You guys played really well. Wanted to uh, check in with you guys, see if you had any comments as far as how the game went, you know, where the challenge or struggle areas were. Um... We lost some power ups, and on, I think especially on Star though, we we definitely played much better. It's just they had a couple of opportunities where they just chained some caps together, and we never got them back. Yeah, we did see you know on the stream I commented a couple times. Whenever they would win a power up battle, it would wind up being a tag pro. Whenever you'd wind up winning a power up battle, it'd be a juke juice. So we did just see a lot of you know I don't, I don't want to say that it's all just luck, but there was a lot of luck in which power ups. Each team got, I, I'm not sure that you guys really got creamed on power-ups overall so much as just when they got power-ups, they tended to be tag pros, was one thing I noticed. So Bowtie, there was some back and forth there uh, with I'm High and Stalin with regards to jukes and three tile wide spaces. I uh, wanted to know if you had any comments about uh, what one should do to avoid being juked in a three tile wide space. You might have to read it, Bowtie doesn't yeah, talk. I'll, yeah, I'll read, I'll read. So Bowtie says, well, the secret a feeling I know what's coming, is to stay mid. The secret is to stay mid. <laughs> stay in the middle of the three tiles. It's not really that hard. So, Bowtie, uh, really outstanding flag carrying today. I commented on this during the stream, but you just uh, you, you really did a great job of keeping your team alive in situations where 
uh, you know, I think KGB really had a lot of opportunities to cap if they could just continue and stop you from getting out of base. But you uh, you were able to get out of base in a lot of those situations. Uh, Bowtie, uh, you uh, you did a great job there. I'm sorry if you don't like the compliment, but I'm gonna have to gonna have to give you one. So looking forward towards next week. Obviously, we have uh, the community map thinking with portals next week for our our uh, second game. Was wondering if you guys had any thoughts on TWP. I cannot wait for it. I'm one of those people that absolutely love it. I'm excited. Definitely. I'm yeah, same here. Lie. Who are we playing? Um, I think either Ghost Boosters or Knights of Capilot. This is the last game of the season? We're, we're definitely playing one of those on Thing with Portals, so. Yeah, is it the last game of the season? Before playoffs? Oh, Knights no, no, two weeks left. This is week seven. Okay, well, Ghost Boosters are last. So. Oh, okay, cool. So we're facing Nice Cap lot next week then. All right. So going forward for the rest of the season, guys, any thoughts on you know what you need to do to make that last push? Win. Give, um, give a, yeah, give I also think we need to practice more together. Um, you know, Koala's Koala's oh, doing, oh. doing great, but um, I think we haven't practiced as much as uh, you know as we used to. I think. Um, yeah, we did it. We did a good amount this week, but um, it's good to get you know stay keep our chemistry in check. All right. Well, best of luck to you guys for the rest of your season. Thanks for a great match today. It was a pleasure to stream. Good yeah, luck. Thanks for doing it. Thanks, Ranger. Yeah, thank you. All right, this will do it for Ranger Radio. Uh, later on tonight, we'll have another great match. So come back in a bit.